Wow, it's hard to believe that we are already on lesson three in Japan. This week, we will be focusing on counting in Japanese. You will learn how to say the numbers one through ten. Not only will you learn to say the numbers, but you will get a chance to try to write the numbers. This is the first language we have done this year that uses a different character system than we use. So you will also learn to write 1 through 10 in Japanese. Are you ready to go? Here we go. If at any time during the video you want to stop and rewind and learn again, you are welcome to do so. This video will be posted throughout the entire nine weeks so that you can come back and practice your counting anytime you wish. This is the page that we will be using in your Global Studies Notebooks today. If you are in grades kindergarten through second, your teacher should have brought you your distance learning book for Global Studies when you did your last pickup. If you have not picked up your book yet, it is with your classroom teacher. Be sure to ask so you can have your book. If you are in grades three through five, you do not need to print this page out. However, it may be helpful. Learning on graph paper is very, very helpful when learning to write some of the Japanese characters. When you hear Mrs. Favis teach the numbers to you, you will hear her use a different word for the number seven. In Japanese, there are two ways to say number seven. The way that Mrs. Favis teaches you is the way that she learned. This word, nana, can also be used. It is up to you which one you prefer to use. We will use the one that Mrs. Favis uses so that we have the correct pronunciation. The letter or character still looks the same regardless of your pronunciation. Please give a warm welcome to our expert, Mrs. Favis, as she teaches you how to count from one to 10 in Japanese. Hello, Ritzview, Konnichiwa. This is Miss Favis again. Today, I'm going to teach you how to count to 10 in Japanese. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, now let's practice together. Ichi ni san shi go roku shichi hachi Q Ju Great job everyone. Let's say faster. Ich ni san Shi go roku Shichi hachi Q Ju Great job! Yoku dekimashita! Bye! Sayonara! Arigato! Let's practice a little slower. This is a good picture to remember when saying the number one. Ichi, Ichi, you try. Good. Now, number two. Ni. Ni, just like the thing that is on your leg, your knee. Ni, you try. Good. Can you do one and two? Itchy, ni. Good job. Yes, it sounds like you have a mosquito bite on your knee. Itchy, ni. That is a great trick to remember. Number three, sun, sun. 
It sounds a little bit like a sun. Sun, sun, you try. Good job. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Ichi ni san. Good job. One more time. Ichi ni san. Good job. Number four. She. She. It is just like the picture. She is a girl. She. She. You try. Good job. Let's try one, two, three, four. Itchy ni san. She. Itchy ni san. She. Good job. Itchy ni san. She. Good. Number five, we're halfway there. Go, go. Yes, this looks like a word we know, go. Just like when your mom says, we are ready to go. Go, you try. Good, let's do one, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Itchy knee, son. She go. Good. One more time. Itchy knee sun. She go. Good job. All together. Itchy knee sun. She go. Good. Use the pictures in your mind to help you remember these new words. This next word might sound familiar to you, as some of you might have something at your home that you use on your television called a Roku, Roku. It reminds me of rock on, rock on, Roku, Roku. You try. Good job. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. Itchy knees, son. She go roku. Good job. One more time. Itchy knees, son. She go roku. Good job. You got it. All right, we're almost there. We've made it to number seven. If you take a look at your paper that is in your Global Studies book, you might see a different word written down. You might see the word nana. Nana is another way to say seven in Japanese. This is the way that we will practice since Mrs. Favis taught us a different word. This word is sichi. Sichi. You try. Yes, I remember the word city because it reminds me of the English word city. Sitchi, sitchi. Good. Let's put this together. So now we should have itchy knee sun. Shigoroku. Sichi. Good. Good job. All right, let's move on. This is my favorite number in Japanese. This word is the number eight. And the word is hachi. Hachi. I remember something hatching from an egg. So if you look here, this little dinosaur is hatching from the egg. This is Hachi, Hachi, you try. Great job. All right, let's put it together. Itchy knees, son. 
四五六七八 Good. They do sound kind of the same. Seven and eight. Okay, number nine. Q, Q. This makes me think of going to a theme park. When you wait in a line, they call it a queue. A line is called a queue. And the number nine in Japanese sounds like that. Q. Think of nine people waiting in a line. Q. Q. You try. Good. We are getting so close to finishing our numbers. Let's start back at one. Ichi ni san. Shigoroku. Sichi hachi kyu. Good job. One more to finish off our song. And the last number is Ju. Ju. I could not come up with a great picture for this, so I think of this banana doing karate. He says, Ju, when he gets ready to kick. Ju. All right, you try. Good job. Okay, here we go. All the way from one. Repeat after me. Ichi ni san. Shigoroku. Sichi hachi kyu. Ju. Good job. Hurry one more time a little slower. Ichi ni san. Shigoroku. Sichi hachi kyu. Ju. Great job. I am so incredibly proud of you guys for trying to speak a new language. Now, if you want to keep practicing this, that would be super cool because the Japanese have a very, very easy way to continue counting. So if you wanted to learn to count from one to 100, it would not be very hard. The pattern is very easy. Now that you know 10, you will use 10 again. So you would do 10 and 1. So to say 11, you would say, Ju ichi, Ju ichi. Do you think that you could count from 1 to 20? Let's see if you can try it. Repeat after me. Ichi, ni, san, Go, Roku, Sichi, Hachi, Q, Ju, Ju Ichi, Ju Ni, Ju San, Ju Shi, Ju Go, Ju Roku, Ju Sichi, Ju Hachi, Ju Kyu, Ni Ju. The last one, instead of saying 10 plus 1, 10 plus 2, 10 plus 3, 10 plus 4, when we get to 10 plus 10, we say 2, which is Ni. Two tens. Ju ni. So we say ni ju. Two tens. Ni ju. Very cool. And from here, you continue the pattern. You do 21. So two tens and one. Two tens, two. Two tens, three. So it sounds like this. Ni ju ichi, ni ju ni, 
need your sun, and you continue the pattern. And then when you get to 30, you say three tens. So it is sun, ju, sun, ju, and then three tens and one, three tens and two, three tens and three. So the patterns continue all the way up to 100. How far do you think you can count? Now that you have had a chance to practice counting numbers, perhaps you have made it to 100. If not, that is okay. If you can count from one to five, you are a rock star. If you can count from one to 10, I am so happy. And if you can count any higher than that, very cool. I like that this is a language that once I learn 10 numbers, I just use the same combination over and over and over, and I can count all the way to 100. Now, on your book, what I want you to try to do is to write the letters or characters that are used for the numbers. So if you look at this one, next to the number one, you see itchy. Remember, our picture was the little girl itching her arm, itchy. Try to write itchy one, two, three, four times. It is much easier to use graph paper instead of lined paper like we do here. Don't worry if you cannot make them perfectly, just try. I want you to see what it feels like to write different symbols than we use here in America. Try your hardest. I can't wait to see what you do. Good luck, everybody. Sayonara. Arigato.